this is today's entry Cadillac. It's called the ATS, and the thing about it is that as a relatively affordable driver's car, it's excellent. Few reasons why, and many of them show themselves very clearly in a setting like this. The handling is the big story on this machine. The ATS feels so sharp, athletic, natural, and just dialed in when you drive it hard. A big part of the reason why is because it's light. Engineers worked overtime to make the ATS highly weight efficient, which makes it handle better, stop and accelerate more quickly, use less fuel, and feel less like you're fighting the car's size and mass when you chuck it into some corners. So lightweight is a good thing for all of the attributes you expect in a modern sports sedan. Though as a luxury car, the ATS has to ride well even if it handles well. Often a car that handles as well as this one has ride quality on par with pushing a shopping cart across a gravel parking lot. Not here. Signature magnetic ride control technology fine tunes the shocks every millisecond to take care of that balance between ride and handling in real time. You get exceptional handling, exceptional ride quality, and no compromise, which is fancy. Cadillac's trick magnetic shocks have truly taken the ride and handling compromise and fist punched it in the mouth. Press this button if you like to fine tune those shocks and other systems into the calibration that best suits your needs. And here's the latest ATS. You'll notice it's missing two doors. This ATS coupe is lower and wider than a sedan with the wheels set even further apart for more stability. It debuts a new steering rack for the ATS lineup and shows off its own unique body panels too. This isn't just a sedan with two doors removed either, and the improvements are a little subtle, but they make this two-door version an even better driver's car. This helps. The 2.0T engine, packing a leading 272 horsepower and a boatload 295 pound-feet of torque. It's nothing much to listen to, just a tastefully restrained growl from the driver's seat and virtually no exhaust note out back, but this slick power plant is smooth as glass, goes like absolute heck when called upon, and operates with a truly world-class level of refined and meaty torque. Most impressive, the amount of forward thrust always on reserve at the tips of your toes. You'd easily forget this is just a four-cylinder, the torque is massive. And you can get a 3.6 liter V6 with 321 horsepower if you want. But forget that big V6, this 2-liter turbo 4-cylinder is the engine to get. A couple of reasons why. First, in the long run, it's probably going to be cheaper to maintain and fuel. And although it's got 50 less horsepower than the V6 with that turbocharger, it actually makes more torque. And there isn't much of a performance penalty either. With the 4-cylinder, you get 0 to 100 clicks just a couple tenths of a second slower than the V6. But here's the real reason why I would pick this one. It's a smaller and lighter engine, and that means less weight over the front wheels. And what that does is really brings to life the nimble and athletic character of this car, takes some of the weight off of the front axle, and you've got a machine that's even more eager to respond when you give it some steering. This particular tester got two must-have features for winter driving and tackling the very icy road we filmed on today, all-wheel drive referenced by the four in the name badge, and more importantly, these Hankook winter tires to give the all-wheel drive system more traction to work with. Equipped thusly, the tester, well, impressed. Cornering and accelerating, you really feel the all-wheel drive system and the stability control system working in sync to optimize the extraction of grip from the changing surface beneath each tire. There's a little bit of squirming and slipping at times as power is redistributed, though it's hardly intrusive and makes you appreciate the systems working hard beneath you to keep you moving. Braking performance on split traction surfaces is similar. Hammer the brakes and even when varying traction levels pass beneath each tire, the ABS engages smoothly with little drama and pulls the car down in a straight line. All said, accelerating, cornering or braking, you feel all systems really effectively keeping the rear wheels directly behind the front ones. This adds plenty of confidence when you're driving in really lousy weather like this. Most impressive though, watch this. I parked on this very icy, very steep hill, expecting the ATS to fail my highly unscientific and virtually impossible traction challenge, but look, it's spinning and sliding and fussing a bit at first, then one tire finds a bit of traction, uses it, and it gets up. Almost nothing does that on this hill when it's icy, so the all-wheel drive system knows what it's doing too. Other notes, rear seat access isn't half bad thanks to a remote switch that moves the front seats ahead, though headroom is very limited, and unless you like hearing your passengers gripe, you'll want to make sure that only the shortest ones you've got are sitting back there. Trunk space is adequate, though not overly generous. Oh, and don't miss the integrated OnStar system, which is a nice thing to have for long-haul winter driving since it can call for assistance at the touch of a button. And there's this hidden compartment where you can hide your um, cell phone. It's also got a wireless recharging pad to keep compatible electronics juiced up with no cord. 
So let's sum up Cadillac's classy, torquey, two-door, lightweight traction hero. You'll likely like the highly effective traction systems, the smooth, very potent engine, the world-class handling and braking performance, and the absolutely bang-on ride and handling balance. It's also great value with more power and less of a price tag than virtually any competitor. You might wish for a more upscale looking instrument cluster, this one looks a bit low budget, and the occupant sensor in the front passenger seat is way too sensitive and will beep at you if you put anything on the seat, even a cell phone without buckling it up. So all said, here's a car that's great fun to drive in nice weather, very capable to drive in slippery weather, and feels balanced and planted and authentically nimble and well engineered throughout. And a machine that's just bang on in the ride and handling department, and even a machine that's available as a classy gentleman sports coupe with a proper and robust six-speed manual transmission if you give up the all-wheel drive. So consider this one for more standard power and a lower starting price than comparable models from the big German 3, Benz, BMW and Audi.